What is something you're grateful for? Oiled up toddlers in a daycare spreading that newborn puff balls. Next thing we're doing on the list of things to be done, we are gonna be looking at the things that you guys were grateful for this year or the things that you were grateful for in general, my nigga. What is something you're grateful for? Cock. All right, so I see that we're already starting off with bullshit. Um, why, why is Rain calling me? Yes, Rain. Yes, yeah, Rain. What's up, man? It's straight if I edge to your stream right now. It's straight if you do what? If I edge to your stream. If you edge to my stream? Yeah. Can you do it on December 1st? I'm already doing it. Yo! This nigga's gay. Him asking is a green flag. I mean, I guess? Bro, right, I see that y'all are already on bullshit, bro. Niggas want to say cock as the first thing they're grateful for. I don't even know what the rest of this video is going to be. But all right, on to the next one. I'm thankful for Strat's juicy ass. Can we be serious, my nigga? That's two things back to back that niggas are just fucking grateful for. And it was bullshit, bro. They're so real. No, y'all are just fucking delusional and only like seeing ass. Every time I fucking get up, y'all niggas just say fucking yacht or let me see that butt, bro. Yacht. Like, I didn't even turn around. I, I see that y'all niggas is just in a fucking silly, goofy mood today. So thick, you can see it from the front. I'm wearing a triple XL shirt. You can't even see my ass. Are we actually going to get a fucking normal one? What is something you're grateful for? I'm thankful for the memories I've made with friends and family. Also, for the opportunity to learn new shit along the way. People I met, which probably aren't here, but still. Still, I gotta thank God. P.S. Strat, make it jiggle for the one time. We were so fucking close to having something normal. It's okay to have a fat ass. I literally don't know. Like, if I did, I would be flaunting that shit around like a bad bitch on IG, nigga. What's something you're grateful for? That fat ass zick? Mm, mm, mm. Is this what the whole video is gonna consist of? I'm starting to think that some of y'all really aren't grateful for anything in life but ass and dick that y'all don't even see or get. Now I feel unoriginal because mine was about your butt too. Yeah, see, like why y'all even thankful for that though? Y'all don't see it. I'm thankful for Strat's fat ass. I can eat it all day. None of y'all have touched my butt. None of y'all have came in contact with my butt and none of y'all are going to see my ass. Your thick, huge ass. All right, like we're, we're I'm, I'm ending the video here. I'm ending this shit here, bro. I was gonna do this, but y'all, y'all niggas have just, y'all niggas have just fucking ruined it. Lester Green looking ass. Who the fuck is Lester Green? Nigga, I do not look like this nigga in the slightest way possible. This is the same nigga that spelled red L-S-T-E-R. Spell red. L-S-T-E-R. And you're saying I look like him. All right, on to the next. Maybe a wholesome one. I'm grateful for my mom and how much she sacrificed to make sure I'm okay. I'd do anything for her. Let's clap it up, bro. Shout out to them moms out there, bro. Y'all didn't have to push that goddamn baby out, but y'all did. Y'all sacrificed y'all vaginal area so that real niggas could live, bro. Clap that shit up. Motherfucker said boo, bro. Boo! What is something you're grateful for? Oiled up toddlers in a daycare spreading that newborn puff balls. Um, this nigga needs to be in solitary confinement. Oiled up toddlers? Fresh meat? Newborn puff balls? <laughs> Y'all be coming up with the craziest things. Like, who actually, like, thinks of this shit? Finding your account, I look forward to watching you. Um, let's clap it up for that nigga. But at the same time, why does that sound like a Jeffrey Dahmer ass threat, bruh? I look forward to watching you. Nigga got me scared. He's under your bed for real? Where? This nigga's not under my bed. Oh, this nigga's here! That was crazy. If y'all niggas wanna also put y'all eats in the fucking thing, we'll do that next. So put your eats in the Thanksgiving eats category. Guacamole nigga penis. Not gonna lie, Scott Jackson is your biggest threat, nigga. You better stop with that shit. Y'all know how she docks that one nigga for doing it, bruh. Don't be the next one, bro. <laughs> Guacamole nigga penis really scarred her ass for life. That's crazy. Food, yummy, yummy till I cummy. Have y'all niggas ever like have food touch your mouth in such a way to the point that you just actually bust in your pants? What? That nigga said food, yummy, yummy till I cummy. I'm just speaking for the people. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I can show you an example of someone that actually had food bust in their mouth. <laughs> Niggas eyes rolled to the back of his 
fucking head over a mean ass piece of chicken, bro. Like a moth to a flame. Dave's hot chicken is probably the best chicken that I've ever fucking had, bro. No bullshit. But that shit's really hot, though. I understand. I'll hear him out. Nigga, it's chicken, not cock. Wait, I, I guess y'all are right? Fortnite Roblox Brandon's fat ass FNAF. I just know this was Ness that did this shit. Fortnite is literally the worst thing that could have been added to this world. Before Fortnite, real niggas was going outside. Before Fortnite, niggas was getting bitches. Before Fortnite, niggas was watching television. Bro, I literally went over to my friend's house for Thanksgiving, and these niggas, instead of going to the fucking, um, the kitchen to get food and shit, these niggas were talking about how many Fortnite skins they had among each other. A little jit came up to me and said, I bet I have more Fortnite skins than you, nigga. I was like, congratulations. What, what do you want me to do, bro? Like, niggas is thankful for Fortnite skins. And bro was like, I spent $80 on my Fortnite skins. Okay, nigga. I spent $8,000. Now what? All right. I know whoever put this is dick sucking to the fucking max because i know you're not thankful for deer what have deer done to contribute to the fucking world besides leaving dents in my car besides me having to pay a fucking down payment on a car to get it fixed deers don't do anything in life but be suicidal whoever put this your dick sucking w deer so y'all just like when i lose money huh have y'all ever ate deer though deer probably tastes like chicken niggas be saying all meats taste the same like motherfuckers be saying like frog legs taste like chicken how the fuck that even work yeah on accident how do you accidentally eat fucking deer i'm thankful for stratus so it all started one late evening as I'm strolling along my neighborhood when all of a sudden I feel a sudden hand on my shoulder. I quickly turn around and there he is, Martin Luther King Jr. in his fullest form. I give him a hug and he tells me to get off me, little nigga. I begin to <laughs> shed a tear when out of the corner of the air, I see something coming from the sky and he comes in drop kicking Martin Luther King and I yell, oh shit. As he looks up, I realize it's Stratus and this is why I'm thankful for Stratus. I have never once in my life drop kicked Martin Luther King. I wasn't even around for that shit. Whoever made this story up, my nigga, you were high as shit off methamphetamine. Bro's having Stratus fanfic fantasy this shit has never happened bro bbc bbc doesn't do anything for you bro i got that fucking monster on me and i sit here every day thinking damn when the fuck am i gonna get a bitch so bbc's don't do nothing somebody daydreaming about you wouldn't be the first my nine inch cock that you get zero bitches with bro. let's be for real none of y'all niggas got a nine inch cock in here and if you do we can go inch for inch simple i'm not thankful for shit matter of fact you can take this form and shove it up that big butt of yours big booty ass bitch why did i catch a stray like bro didn't even need to fucking fill this shit out bro if he wasn't thankful for anything bro like i'm low-key a little hurt bro told me to shove the form of my ass bro yo um can we just take a minute to uh to appreciate the hey strata stream in the background that's me and shit clap it up for that nigga fat boy man my godly physique. None of y'all, bro, y'all are like the average neon fucking build, bro, if I'm being honest. That's how I view some of y'all niggas in chat. Y'all gotta be built like neon, bro. Not one of y'all that's in chat right now has a godly physique. Besides me, though. Like, look at me. Look at me. 1v1, arm wrestle, a butt off, nigga. I'm winning that shit. 10 times out of 10. Grateful for you, Pookie. I don't know any one of y'all. What have I done to contribute to your life? Having a fat ass. Am I just a piece of meat to y'all niggas? Because there's not enough butt to go around for all y'all niggas to be taking it. That was an insane statement. Know you're human. Thank you. Honestly, I'm just overall really content where I am in life. I'm not worried about the insignificant things I once thought were detrimental. I'm not as stressed as I used to be, and the people I have to primarily thank for that are my family and friends. This year, my faith has grown stronger, and genuinely, I'm so grateful that I'm not as stressed and on edge as I was. Nigga, I don't give a single fuck. Why did you type this shit as if you were submitting it to an English teacher? This nigga has said, in significant and detrimental you have never said them shits a day in your life my nigga who are you trying to impress because i'm not great in this shit but nah clap it up though on some real shit family and friends will always get you through the worst times in life bro i feel like some of y'all niggas need to get uh closer to god though like i'll be feeling when y'all join the stream i'll be feeling y'all spiritual presence in my room and shit and some of y'all are really demonic to say the least all right what the fuck is this video what are they grateful for Yo! <laughs>
This nigga does not know you. Who the fuck is grateful for this nigga, bro? That is like, do you want dick suck? You need to be in the league for this shit. Bro, get this shit off my screen, nigga. Whoever put this shit in here is getting a lifetime ban sentence, nigga. You're never coming back to another stream. I don't care. That dumbass fucking song, bro. Food. Uh, that's all you're grateful for in life is food? I just know you're like 5'4", 360 pounds, nigga. If all you're fucking grateful for in this world is food, you big like there's no way that's what you're thankful for out of everything but food do be hitting though I can't even lie to you Roblox and men with fat asses what is your addiction with niggas with fat asses does that turn bitches on or something yes 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 I just want to touch it like am I not using my buffs to my like full potential because if having a fat butt is the thing that attracts the hoes nigga I should be a chick magnet Maybe I'm not using it right. This fat ass was a gift and a curse, my nigga. Finally, you admit it. I just gotta lock in and just say I got a fat ass. If I say I got a small ass, y'all gonna say cap. If I say I got a big dick, y'all gonna say true. Like, when I'm like 45 years old and I'm looking back at some of these clips, the things that I'm gonna say or have said are gonna be looked at like mad crazy. My fat, juicy, voluptuous ass. Your ass isn't bigger than mine, buddy. Being the biggest fucking bird. What the fuck does that even mean? My nigga, you're happy you're a fucking seagull? Because seagulls are pretty damn big. The biggest bird in the world. A common ostrich. So you're happy being this thing? What the fuck is an emo? Oh, that shit says emu. This shit ugly as hell. Bro, what's the point of being a bird if you can't fly? I'm thankful for Stratus because he is a good and funny streamer. Also, I'm thankful for Playboy Cardi and Marshall Mathers being in my playlist. You have Eminem in your playlist willingly, nigga? Oh hell no. I'm glad that I look like Lester Green. I don't think that's a blessing, buddy. I mean, to each their own, bruh. Ain't that Beetlejuice? Yeah, but being grateful that you look like him? I mean, fuck it. It's your life. <laughs> I'm just living in it. I'm thankful for the man that stays in Australia that paid for my tickets and paid for court fee and my lawyer. Um, what the fuck did you do to where you needed to pay for a fucking court fee and a lawyer? Do I got thugs in my chat? W my Australian man. Can I get like a backstory on what the fuck you did? I got arrested and dragged for speeding and not having my ID. Who made this poll, bro? Who made this fucking poll? And y'all niggas is gonna say yes. Like, why? Are are y'all saying yes bro we don't lie like y'all are clearly lying right now bro all right what the fuck is this bro can y'all please stop saying y'all are thankful for this nigga bro he has not done shit do not order among us happy meal from mcdonald's at 3 a.m you could order the among us happy meal you guys that's right you heard me the among us happy meal what does this have to do with being thankful for shit bro what are you thankful for from this video why are we watching him because someone said they were thankful for the among us happy meal this shit doesn't even fucking exist thank <clears throat> god damn hold up there's some water Thankful for No Problem by Chance the Rapper. This is what you're grateful for. This song right here is what you're grateful for. What has this done to, to fucking contribute anything to your life? It bangs. Nigga, are you fucking stuck in 2017, nigga? Grow up. Turn it back on. Why was Chance the Rapper chilling in the fucking studio with the Young Thug? Like, when the fuck did this happen, bro? <laughs> Don't lie, you were bumping this song in 2016. And what, nigga? You caught me. <laughs> like, the fuck you want me to say? Can't talk shit about it. Fuck that song. Now what? I'm grateful for the people I've met because of the stratosphere. See, we are just a good community, man. We are just a good fucking community, bro. Bro, chat. Rain wants us to be the STDs, bro. What sounds better, bro? The STGs or the STDs, bro? STDs. STD. Like, that just sounds mad crazy. Why y'all typing that shit like it's something good? Bro, I don't want to raid a nigga and say we're the STDs and they're like, what? Like, imagine you just get a fat-ass raid from the STD army, bro. That's a whole bunch of burning that's gonna happen. 
I'm thankful for having a fat butt to look forward to every day. Thank you, Strat. My dick gets hard whenever you go live. Your ass is just exquisite. It's too fat for this world. And don't get me started on that BBC of yours. It's just so big, I can't take it. Start to bleed whenever it gets in? You guys need to be experimenting. There's no way you just sat here, typed all this shit out, and was like, yup, this the one. This is what I'm grateful for. I've never touched you a day in my life, nigga. And I never will. Oh, you're sick. I didn't say it. They did. I'm deeply grateful for all the memories that were made this year and for Stratus shaking ass. Like, y'all start off so good and then my ass just has to be brought into the equation, my nigga. Like, y'all can leave that shit out for real. I don't know how many of these that I've read of my ass being shook or something on my ass, but it has to stop. Can we have, like, another allegation in here? Because I don't shake ass. Name one time I've Shook ass. I'm thankful for this song. So the other day, a bitch had the nerve to step into my DMs and try to tell me that I'm really not that girl, and it's so crazy because, like, bitch, I really am that girl. I really am that bitch. I really am the one. I really am the only one. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not a cocky queen, but if I gotta show the bitches, I will. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> First off, let's get into the madness. Think legit, bitch. Got the rights in the cabin. When the fuck has Mona Lisa ever said any of this shit, bruh? Yes, let it keep going. Fuck no. We get into the good part. Nigga, we're already 30 seconds in, and the bitch just started talking. Never been average rap Beyonce. I should have featured on Savage. I go in like the letter after M. I got synonyms and anonyms like I was in my I've been getting my 10 since I was watching Ben 10 at the age of 10. I'm here to win, bitch. Nigga, Mona Lisa was wildin', bruh. Alright, last one, bro. Shake ass right now. I'ma throw this money like a free throw. Like, why would you even play this shit, bruh? No, no, you when this song comes on, you just have to. If I was at gunpoint and they told me to shake my ass, wait. Never mind.